So, today's video is a bit different. It's a bit different because it's a topic that I normally don't talk about, but it has to do with life in Germany, obviously. But today I'm going to talk about how to survive mentally in Germany, especially because winter is coming and things have changed. The weather has changed. It gets dark at 4 p.m. It's cold. And when you wake up at 6, it feels like you're waking up at 4 a.m. Like shorter days and longer nights. And you just don't know what to do with yourself. First of all, sip some tea. One aspect that people don't talk about enough is how lonely it gets here, okay? It gets so lonely because most of the time you are alone. And that is one of the main reasons why some people do not survive here. Imagine, I saw this video of this Nigerian girl in Canada and she was crying tears, tears, literally tears of blood because she didn't anticipate the loneliness. And Canada is a country, it's a bilingual country. You definitely find English speakers. And there's a lot of Nigerians in Canada. Like every time you see somebody talking about Japa, it's mostly, sorry, the red and white flag. Japa into Germany is not as attractive because of the language barrier. This same language barrier can deepen or catapult or catalyze your depression because because of the language barrier you are not that open to making friends okay it's not that easy for you one thing that i would advise you to do is that before you come to germany try to have one or two people in your city how do you do that there are these expert groups on Facebook. So for example, if you know that, oh, I'm going to be studying in Stuttgart, I'm going to be studying in Munich, I'm going to be studying in Dresden, look for the Dresden expert group on Facebook, the international students um, group on Facebook and all of that. I know Facebook is for the 30 plus and whatnot, but these are some of the good things. And also you can go on Twitter. In Twitter, you'd see a lot of um, professionals, African professionals living in Germany. Um, I intentionally started a new Twitter page and I intentionally followed, looked for Africans in Germany making it and not just making it but like in the professional field and I find quite a few. I've seen Ghanaians who are doctors here, I've seen Nigerians who are IT professionals here and all of that. So if I have found them, you can also find them, okay? And you can discuss things with them as well. So definitely, before you come, try to build a net, a network, okay? Before you come. Now that the weather is getting colder, what do you do to save yourself? It's a mindset, first of all, a mindset that lets you know that you stay positive. This is going to pass, okay? The same way the cold came, the cold will go for the warmth to come. So by March, mid-March, you start seeing differences. It'll start raining again like the way it's raining now. The leaves will start coming back. The buds will start sprouting. And even the things we see in the supermarkets will start changing. Strawberries will be back. The sweet stuff will be back again and all of that. So this too shall pass, okay? So be positive. Another thing that you can do is when I talked about network, is find something that takes you out of the house. And that is not just to work or study. Because sometimes even studying, you, you, you tend to do that at home because you don't have to, you don't always have to go on campus. You, you are comfortable at home. And it's not like, my package, one moment. I have a little bit of a collection going on here, but whew, I'm so excited. Retail therapy, but that is actually not <laughs> the main point. Charlie, <sighs> my This is why you have to celebrate yourself. So. Let me 
skip to the front. <laughs> Let me skip this point to the front. So you have to celebrate yourself and give yourself, you know, a tap on the shoulder when you're able to do certain things. So on uh, Monday evening, I realized that I've been quite good with closing my rings on with this watch like what's the what's the app called i think it's called health or something no not health <laughs> what something i see well anyways you know what i'm saying though the fitness app on on, uh, on the iphone so i've closed a lot and i've even earned a badge and also i have an occasion to go on sunday so i thought to spoil myself a bit because on saturday it was 11 11 and i realized that some of the shops were also going hey why you're on there um, offers and all of that so I decided to treat myself a bit with some of the coupons that I got for my birthday so Sephora is here and um, another shop as well maybe I'll do an unboxing should I do an unboxing let me know let me know okay now mm. so stay positive I could say if the Sun is coming from this side I don't want it in my face but listen being in Germany you have to appreciate every moment that the sun shines on you okay you have to appreciate every moment that the sun shines on you so stay positive know that it would pass and yes that before I, I lose the thought of what I want to say so find something that takes you out of the house now one thing that is hard for me to do usually is go to the gym so I try to motivate myself with this watch. As you can see, I've already rewarded myself for the past two, two weeks or past week. So once I'm able to go out and work out and close my rings and all of that, it makes me feel good, okay? So get something that gets you out of the house. It could be the gym, something you could do alone, going for a walk, something that you have to self-motivate yourself to do. It could also be appointments. So one trick that I realized was that if it's not something I have to show up for that has a consequence, I probably wouldn't go out for it. So I have a health insurance card. I hardly go for appointments. So I decided that, you know what, I'm going to, I did my um, skin doctor's appointments. What do, what do you call them? Dermatologist. I put that on Monday so that I don't have to, I don't come straight home or something, something to, you know, encourage me to leave the house if I don't have any appointments for work and all that. I put my doctor's, my regular family doctor's appointments on, um, I believe on the 30th. So I, every week or something, there's something that takes me out of the house, okay? I don't have a lot of friends. But once my friends ask me, do you have time today? Let's hang out or something. And I have the time and I'm, I'm, I'm here in Sugat alone. I take that opportunity to dress up and show up. So have something that takes you out of the house, okay? That is definitely something because once you are, the reason why you have to go out is that you have to walk. You walk, you move and everything. It activates those hormones that make you feel good. You, you wouldn't know, but it, it does, okay? Another thing that you have to be very careful of, since I'm talking about going out and everything, is your diet. So once it gets cold like this, you want to be drinking warm things. That is good, but don't make it too sugary, okay? Try to get a balanced diet. The, the more colorful, the better. So carrots, celery, all those vitamin C and rich foods that will help boost your immune system, ginger, um, curcuma. What's curcuma's other name? You know that yellow um, spice? Turmeric. Turmeric, curcuma, and everything. You know, in, I'm not saying invest in those, but take more of those so that your immune system will be stronger because catching your cold and being alone is not fun okay that is another thing so make sure you're outside catching fresh air make sure you have something that forces you to go out of the house something to look forward to you take dates by yourself and all of that talking about taking dates by yourself one thing i look forward to is getting my nails done i love it i love it so can we talk about how it's the men that make the best nails? Like if your nail tech is a man, they are more accurate and they get the angles right and everything. 
and they don't talk much. Oh, bless them. The ladies, Kokonsa, Kokonsa. Uh -huh. And last time you said you are going here, and last time you said you are going there, and hey, how was your breath? They even remember the stuff. But these men, they don't ask you anything. They just be listening to the music. I can also listen to mine, and we keep it moving. Cause I'm there to have a treat. So self care can be going to get your nails done, get my nails done, get my brows plucked, get my hair done. You know, at the intervals that are necessary, obviously. And then also, you can do stuff by yourself at home. Run a bath, watch your favorite movie. Things that make you feel good and put those things in your calendar. Because once you put them in your calendar, you will prepare for it and you will work around it. That's one thing as well. And I talked about making appointments to go out and all that. Everything that would motivate you, put like set it in stone. Put it on your phone calendar, put it on your, I have a like a book calendar that I use. Write it in there so you would always remember and you wouldn't forget. But if you say, oh, I get 20 minutes next week, I will do this. You won't do it. And even with some chores in the house, I've realized that I have to write them down so that I, I can remember and get those things done. So definitely, definitely, definitely write those things down. Your feel good moments for yourself, time for you to recuperate and everything. Write those down. Guys, I hope I've shared enough for you to understand um, that taking care of your mental self is important, taking care of how you feel and everything because you are alone most of the time, you don't have um, family here, Everything is almost everything is virtual. Try to take a little bit out of the virtual world as well. That's the next step. You know, all <laughs> my mother-in-law will say, the fear against and those, you know, rectangular things or those square things. We try to minimize that even if it means TV. So phone, tablet and everything. Cause some, most of the time when I go um, online, I see like contents from Ghana and I miss Ghana so much. And then you remember things and you, I'm not saying don't, don't, you know, watch them and have, have like, try to relive the moments in Ghana, but too much of everything is bad. Okay. So try to minimize your screen time. That is also very important. So develop healthy habits. Now, it wouldn't be complete, or this video would have been complete if we don't talk about finance management, because nothing makes me sad more than being broke. <laughs> we know it right. And that is another thing that I would hit on, but not too much, because me, myself, I be corporate. I already talk about retail therapy and everything. That's, I'm not also exercising the financial constraints and discipline I'm supposed to be doing, but as I'm preaching to you, I'm preaching to myself. Okay, good. Sort your finances out. And that is why you need a job. <laughs> um, if you don't have a job and you have your, your heistest, um, spare conto, your blocked accounts, that's also fine. But sort your finances out because one thing that will get you in that dark place is not having enough money okay so please sort your finances out because this dark weather this gloomy weather and being broke is not good you can be broke but be broke with the plan because you know that okay every every week i'll spend 50 euros on food then you know but if you don't even know where that 50 euros is coming from that is another thing okay so sort those finances out one thing that has helped me that i have i learned from grief therapy is to keep a gratitude book. So those three, uh, those that book, let me get it and read to you the questions because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. So I got this book from grief therapy and usually you're supposed to ask yourself those questions at the end of the day as you're going to bed. You ask yourself, was today good? What made me happy today? What was I happy about today? What have I accomplished today? No matter how small, no matter how insignificant that may look to you, know that it plays a role in your future in making your future better. So guys, this is what I have for you. And I hope 
it helps you i hope you can build on it and i'm wishing all of us a beautiful winter and take advantage of the christmas market try to meet new people you want to meet new people christmas market is your best bet literally literally like you meet new people everybody's drinking glue vine or kinder punch you'll see somebody to start a conversation with look forward to the positive things keep your eyes on the positive aspects of this whole thing and remember that you are living an answered prayer that is what also always gets me to because you know before your visa would come and everything you're excited about it and all that so remember that i'm not saying don't be realistic that you are suffering or you're going through something but remember that you pray for this moment and it wouldn't all be smooth but small 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 so this winter sun is trying to tell us that <laughs> it is not winter sun but i lie no if you do shishing you can't buy what time is it 20 to 4. You'll go off soon, don't mind him. Catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>